Are you tired of this happening while taming a Pegamastix? My name's TechWorsa and today I'll show you how to tame a Pegamastix, and if you stick around I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tamed Pegamastix. First off, let's prepare. The food you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Mijo berries, then all other berries. I'd recommend using Mijo berries, but regular berries can also work. After some testing, I found that Pegos tame differently from other creatures. They gain tame percentage by stacks taken, not by the amount of food in the stack. However, if you feed them a stack size too small, they start to lose taming percentage. If the stack size is too large, you'll be wasting resources. Stack sizes vary based on their level and type of food, and there's also a 30 second wait between the Pego taking stacks. Taking all that into account, when using Mijo Berries, a level 25 needs 11 stacks of 20 berries, which will take around 7 minutes. A level 50 needs 14 stacks of 25 berries, and will take around 9 minutes. A level 100 needs 20 stacks of 30 berries, and will take around 12 minutes. A level 150 needs 28 stacks of 30 berries, and will take around 17 minutes. As a side note, Pegamastix can eat kibble. However, it does not give any increased tame percentage. It offers the same percentage per stack as other types of food. It's recommended that you do not have any kibble on you while attempting to tame a Pegamastix. If they steal it from your inventory, they will eat it. Condition the area around the Pegamastix. Kill off any carnivore that could interfere you with your taming. You'll need to keep an eye on the one you want to tame while you do this, and if you have tribe mates to help you, they can be defending the area while you start taming. If your server settings allow for it, Pegamastix can be picked up by all flyers, which means you can take the Pegamastix to a secure area to tame it. The taming area should be at least 2x2 two two foundations or larger. Any smaller, and there's a chance the Pegamastix will glitch and not take food from you until they reset. In other words, everyone in the area leaving render distance before attempting to tame again. Another option would be to drag it to a safe area behind an Equus with a lasso. A fourth option would be to corner the Pegamastix and build a fence to keep it trapped near you. Regardless of the method chosen, make sure to place your taming food of choice in the last slot of your hotbar. The Pegamastix will steal it from that slot first. It will consume the food, then return for more after about 30 seconds if you're still nearby. At this point, make sure you have more food in the last slot of your hotbar. Continue until it's tamed. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. You can pick up a Pegamastix and carry it on your shoulder. You can also throw it at other players to steal items from their inventory. If you drop the Pegamastix by a bush, it will harvest the bush for an assortment of seeds and berries. That's all I got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.